Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube. What's going on people, this is Influence and today I have the Toy Easy YW2301 aircraft carrier and i have no idea there's some other names um i think it's the actual name of the actual aircraft carrier so these are all real ships you know this is the toy easy combiner that is zeta or something or one of these people moon studios i don't know but they they definitely feel like they could be zeta and yeah forgive me this is gonna be a long one so there will be chapters in the description if you just want to go to one part there's that the back just my thoughts this thing is humongous um it is very well built which is why it saddens me to say my next statement is my foot was broke in the box and the peg that the foot is on which i will show in a minute um seems plastic and it seems like a bad very bad choice to a a well-built figure this is well built has a lot of uh, articulation has a lot of good materials the plastic feels good the the joints are metal die cast if you will and i think it's it's very well put together and i think the testament is that the foot is severed but it's still i pegged it in with the peg that it uses and it's still standing on it and this is a heavy thing so i mean that's the testament to how well it's built but a bad decision to have a plastic pin there's a lot here you know when i get into accessories <laughs> we'll take some time did contact show z they're working on it you know how they do uh if you're familiar with them they will take care of you another thing this was in the box i cannot for the life of me figure out where it goes maybe i'll see it doing this review and i'll be like oh it seems like somewhere it's like a i thought it was part of the ship maybe it's part of this maybe it's the sub i don't know because yeah this is a gun that's a submarine turns into a gun and i think that's great i wish it would have split apart but we'll get into that so yeah just to let you know about that accessories wise he holds his gun in his hand and I'm probably going to lay this guy down while I'm doing accessories because he'll fall. So you see he holds a gun with a little peg just like typical masterpiece. So here we are with this, which is the gun accessory. Has a switch here that opens up these barrels that kind of gives it a little extra flare. And my only gripe with this is I wish, I, I'm thinking this is the Cabine Robots gun because it has two handles it has the one for him and then you bring this out you're also going to need a spudger of some sort i can't find my other one so i have this big giant one that doesn't really work as well but yeah here's the handle so i'm assuming this is for the big robot which that's one of the things i was getting to i don't like i wish it would have split apart and turned into like two guns and then put together for the big robot gun uh, it, it seems kind of weird to have him hold the same size gun, even though he is a big guy. But so with this, you have them, these barrels here. You just move this switch to close it. Then you move this up here. It's on a double hinge. You're going to eventually move it around, but you got to unpeg all this stuff here, which is pegged on really tight. <clears throat> Like really tight and it's pegged into the fins back here. And is it pegged somewhere else? No, it looks like it's just the fins. And you can see there's no, there's no, all the fins are there. I don't know why. Directions really, really suck and don't do this justice as usual. I'm surprised paint ain't off of these because they're really tight. But you move that around, move it around like that. Close this up here like that. Same thing over here. Move this around like that. Close this up here. 
together then you move this around and you accordion it back close it down and there's this peg here too that somehow pegs on the side of the arm but it doesn't really work and here you go you have the submarine which i think is kind of cool i think there's another version that you can get you get extra pieces too that are like missiles and things um because when you open these there's little spots there now you do get a bunch of stuff so i don't know if any of these things go anyway and then this comes off here and you can also do this and the directions are unclear why you do that i don't know because when it's a gun it doesn't fit like it won't peg in back here i don't know don't give me the line because i have no idea and the propeller works you get a stand of course which houses the boat like this or you can hmm it didn't work it's really tight so you really gotta use this there we go goes up and then you can move this part up here and i have no idea how it fits on the robot but it can maybe this is another accessory that i have no idea what it is maybe this comes into play with that i'm not sure but you can store a lot of the stuff under here a lot of the extra accessories and you have these little things that pop up and you can put put stuff on there too you have move this a little this one's already up so you have this right here that these stickers go on each side it is basically a display base that says what it is you can move this around and you stick it on here on the blank side but yeah there's that have a card of calls And you have a bunch of things that go on his boat, on the side of the boat. And I will show that when we get there. Transformation is not easy or pretty. And you got a bunch of these things. They're like guns and missile pod launchers and all stuff. There's all types of holes and stuff on the boat that you can put stuff on and here's the whole bag you get because there's a lot of places and these i think i showed little antenna portholes whatever you call it in the box box is big of course you got all that you got this this is the ship ship is really nice and big and last but not least is the directions directions are okay I did do them with the directions. I think I'm going to try to start doing the reviews with just using the directions instead of a video because there's no videos out there on this guy. I, I didn't even, I would have even took a, a motion. I, and I'm assuming because of this transformation, maybe people aren't done yet or they are hesitant about doing it because it is a beast. It's not fun. First, get this guy. These are accessories as well. It's the tower that's on the actual carrier. You can put that back here and the combine head does go on here and can stay on here doing transformation. I won't keep it on because it's just easy to take off. But this right here, in case you're wondering how you get it on here, it's, it's a little clip here. And if you get this and you know, you, you'll you see this little line. There's a ball joint at the end that clips into this piece. And then you can just manipulate it this way. This clip goes on the back of here, clips in, and you unfold all of this. Like this folds up, this pegs together, but it folds up like this. And then this comes a, folds up and comes around and it forms the long, you can see, 
if you got this you know what i'm talking about so i will show it when i do the transformation more but when it's on his back it should be spurled out like that kind of adds a little bit of flair whatever like you can keep it totally off if if you want it's up to you so here we are so i'm gonna compare him to one of his members well two of his members but one is in the arm mode so here's this guy he's a leg i believe um this is the other aircraft carrier that's a helipad carrier or something i was confused with these guys because they all look kind of similar and i wasn't sure which one to get here's one that's on the base and i have it in arm mode so this guy is definitely going to be a big a big boy when combined I won't get into his combine mode until I combine them all together whenever that is because there's two more guys, two more waiting to come out. Show you him next to fans, Toys Phoenix, just so you can get a sense of how big he actually is. You can see he's almost neck and neck. He's actually taller with his towers, but I don't count that. That's just extra stuff. But yeah, you can see that there. Definitely huge. For the sake of this review again, I'm going to take this head off because it's just going to keep falling off. It's not on great. It has a peg here that pegs there, but that doesn't work as great. It will when it's in combined mode because it's not doing anything. Like it's just sitting back here. But, and there's a peg that pegs in up here as well just a little peg you see how easy I, I took that off and i do like though that they hide his face that they just have it balled up but it is just sitting on his back so i think it looks cleaner without it so articulation you guys head goes down a lot uh goes up a whole lot it's on this little hinge it, it can go it doesn't go back really on this but it's on like a secondary hinge that gets up a lot um arm it is tight and it's on two different joints it's on this joint it's really for transformation because this stuff back here isn't supposed to move and it's on like a secondary joint but i do like that all this stuff and they still have movement now this shoulder isn't on the greatest like it doesn't peg in as great as it should and it's hollow so when you're manipulating it you're pushing it down that's a flaw i believe then you have this that goes up it's a joint right here that goes up but then you can get this joint as well and you got to get this out the way so he does get up pretty much a lot that's for transformation too but, you know, we'll give it to him. So he has a double jointed elbow. There's a lot of stuff here, but he still gets more than 90 degrees. Again, I hate this shoulder. Do not like this shoulder. Even though this is made very well, there's some pieces that aren't like all of this. Like it's really hollow right here. It creates the illusion of having a, a thick shoulder, but it's just hollow because of the, it's a shell former basically. So you see his his elbow he has tight bicep swivel hands spin around all the way well articulated fingers he has a ball joint for a thumb with no other articulation and he has ball joints for fingers each articulated separately in a second knuckle so that's pretty good pretty good I don't know. I don't think he has a waist bend, but he can get 360 even with all of this stuff. And this isn't on right because I didn't push it in right. He does get it all the way around. It does hit this a little, but you just got to be careful. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Skirts, get these arms out of the way. Skirts can go up back skirts can go up very good joints 
He can do the full splits. He does hit all this stuff up here. That's what's stopping him. But the joint actually goes fully. And it's on friction. But it seems to be enough. He goes out on friction. Back on friction. That's really tight. Does almost get the hurdles too. Has a thigh swivel right here. Knees are double jointed and ratcheted. So he does get past 90 degrees. And I do like how this thigh works. You can see it moves up and down with the joint. I think that's nice to have like some type of mechanical. Like I said, this is a built, a well-built figure. It's just some of the choices. I question and speaking of choices we'll do it over here his toe goes down these these it will go down a lot it's kind of annoying while you're manipulating it because these pegs are not tight you can see they go right in and just you see not tight at all but he does have a rocker a full rocker and it's on a joint right here that goes up and down. This goes up and down. All this stuff gets annoying when you're moving it. The heel spur is not really independent. And I'm going to show you here because I'm going to take his foot off. This pegs on right here and then his foot pegs on or this pegs on his foot. But since his foot is broke. And what's broke is this, me me this mechanism, <laughs> right. a pin that goes, I'm assuming goes across here, but it's broke. Not sure how I'm going to, is that a, yeah, that's a pin. No. If you can see, I assume the pin goes through here and through that other part. And it just looks like plastic. It just severed it. I like, I don't understand that choice of having a plastic pin when it should have been metal. When everything else is is metal and great, crazy <laughs> transformation. First thing you want to do is work on these arms. It looks really complicated in the instructions, but it's really not. Pull this out here. You flip these. Most of this is like flip flapping and doing type of stuff. Hopefully, I remember everything. Flip that up. And then this piece right here, you flip up and it kind of tabs in right there. And then you move this. It's all on like ball joints. And actually, surprisingly, the ball joints are pretty good. Hopefully it doesn't make me a liar, but they don't come off the ball joint that much as far as I can tell. So then you have that like that. So basically, you can move this up here and just keep it like that now work on this arm here and again you just want to flap out everything move that out well you know what first let's put the fist in normal routine just make sure it's really you make a good good fist Put the thumb down, move this out. It's just pegged on right there. Flip this in here. You see it goes flat. Fingers will come out, stuff will do what it does. So whatever. But then you want to pull this out, flip this over, and this goes in there like that. And there's a little piece at the bottom that is on a, a slider. You move that around and then you push it up. It's on like a, a move out joint. Slides up and down, slides up and down. Move that up like that. This pull out, there's a joint here that is tabbed into and it's on a ball joint. So you kind of 
want to get all this situated moved around move this out there's a little piece in here that you want to get out move it around and then flip it around peg it in like that this here you want to move out like you start to see the pieces but it's just how you move them get this all the way move this around here then up and this is how this goes then you move this around it kind of pegs in right there then you got all of this now you want to move this thing out of here and move this up like this there's a peg hole there peg right here that goes in these pegs go up in here this peg right here goes on the side and you'll kind of see it's kind of intuitive move it up like that it goes in then you can lock this down kind of keeps all this together lock it up here and that's tight that's tight and it keeps like i said it keeps everything together make sure this is out like that And now this is where I had a little trouble. I wasn't quite sure what to do with all of this, but you kind of moved it. This is going to move like that. And you move this like this, how that's going to go. Now what you want to do is pull this out though, right here. It's locking the elbow in so you can accordion this down. That wasn't clear to me. And you coordinate it that way and it gives it enough room to now engage with all of this You just move this up here you can move this down like that you just move it out to get it out the way and show it from this angle and this is where everything pegs in and you just gotta kind of get it where it, it fits like get in where you fit in literally and then this is gonna, you can kind of move this around in order to get it out of here. Like it's, it's gonna eventually come together, but not at this mind, not at this moment, I should say. This, if it came down, it came down. Might be even better to leave it off, but I'm gonna do it with it on there. And you repeat that whole step and you'll see stuff falling apart or coming out it is what it is at the end it'll all come together and be really solid or you won't be able to get it apart so here just a different angle it's the same thing just move that out flip that up move that move this move this little piece so it tabs in tab that in now this you want to open up get these put the fist in as good as you can move this out here like this move this i'm doing it a little bit faster just because it's going to be a long one even doing it fast And a lot of the pieces are like this. Like you have a up and down, like where you have to move it just like this. And then you put it into place like that. And I think that's kind of great that they did that because it, it does work. Move this out here. I'm assuming some of this stuff in here is for the combine mode. Cause I don't know what it does. You do have to move some of it sometimes, but it is what it is. Move this down here, move this out like that. 
and up and with the panels seeing the stuff you can kind of tell like what what's going to happen and you want to uh, pull this out here now you can't see that because my hands in the way there we go and you can accordion this down all the way put it back uh, there we go accordion that put that back in and you move it up let's get this situated right There we go. Then you can move this and move this like that and move it uh, up. go get that situated like that and then there he is move this out because it's, it's going to be kind of hard to get this together but i will show that now it's a lot of stuff to do in here you want to unhook this right here it's a little piece that's hooked on in the back uh, then it's a peg right here as well just want to push all this in this goes in you want to kind of move this stuff down um just out the way and then this head you can move back and spin it around it moves back on that double hinge now you can move this out and kind of move this down because right here, I like to do this first because it is difficult. The, these, I think, are the combiner ports. So you want to move this stuff out. It's, it's this thing right here that you're moving out as well. Move that out. Move this out. And that's to get room to move all this stuff. So once you do that... Then you can move this off of this, these double holes right here. And it's locked on. And then you move this because it's locked on back here as well. And that's locked on with these. I did all that because you want to turn this. You want to turn this thing right here, which is super tight. And you want to turn this thing. You want to move. And, and I unhooked all of this because that's the only way you can get this away from each other. So then you can move this. So that's like a part that I don't really like a lot. <laughs> move this up like that. These two things right here should be sticking straight up. And you want to try to get it and you can see it's not straight because I had it a little catty corner. So you just got to get that straight like that. Once you do that, then work on getting this back together because so you don't have a misalignment. I'm going to get these two holes in here. I assume the other two are for when you combine it, like maybe when you move it out and the, the two will slot up and down and then this will be sticking straight out. That's what I'm assuming. I didn't, I didn't do the combined mode yet. So, I mean, after doing this, I was like, Jesus, <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you. And also the thing is this thing goes up and down. Like this, these are move up and down and they move, they slide in closer because of the mechanism that they're on. So you just gotta try to Get them the best you can and see how that slid down. You don't want it to slide all the way down because you want it to get tabbed into this right here. There we go. 
and then you can move this piece back up to tab it in back here it should be lined up ah, there we go now what you're doing is because you want to move this back up and this wants to be up here and you got to have it fit you can see that you want it to fit into there so you got to change these like this and this is hard and it hurts my fingers and you just want it straight up and down and you can tell because it'll fit into this part this one's a little easier but it's still hard on my hand When I first did that, I almost needed pliers. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Ain't gonna hold you. So then you move this up, make sure this doesn't come out. It will, which is a pain, but it's just as easy to get it back because this is what really keeps it on together. So you move this back up, move that back up in there. And then this should fit over top right here. There we go. And with that, then you move this up and this should fit up here flat. And tab in to keep this from moving, from going anywhere. And that's, that's a lot because you got to make sure this is straight up and down in order to get that up there. These are also on sliders. If they're slid in, you slide them out like that. You see, they that's the only way this can fit in between there. So we're making progress, making progress. Move all this stuff together. And I might as well do it now. You want to pull this out on the side here. Cut that piece out. So that piece goes like that, right? So now you want to move this around 180, but it's just the bottom part. It's not anything above because this part moves as well separately. So you don't want that. You want this. Hopefully that doesn't come in to play. Move that out. Me too. Move this up so it's easier to get these out. You just pull these out. It's the little crotch pieces. Move that tab in. Once you get one out, the other one's easy. Move that little tab in. Then you're moving all this out like this. You're gonna eventually move this around here. It's on a double ball joint. This little piece. Pull that out and flip it back because that's what keeps this together. Then pull this out. Oh, I didn't even have that together. This goes this way as well. You can see it. I'm not going to put it that way, but it, it clamps. So it clamps both sides. So it's really secure. But then you want to take it up like this. Move this kind of like that as much as possible because then this is going to move down like that you can see it this stuff out of here this right here is pegged on up here very tightly there we go and it's on a double hinge joint so it's it slides down it's not there we go slide down and then it goes up and it slides but why you got this space uh maneuver this stuff and how you maneuver this stuff is move this down this goes up here this little thing right here um leave like this you can figure it out and then this moves up like that 
but you can you can worry about it. I just wanted to get it out the way of all of this because what you're doing over here and here move this all the way up and then you can see it kind of pegs in right there on the side of the leg just like that and then you're moving it down like that i know that probably seemed complicated because of the way i explained it but again let me try it over here you want to again get this stuff out of here which is pegged very tightly up here the other pegs aren't as bad so once you get that out, then you can try to manipulate it. And it's the same mechanism over here. You gotta kind of pull it out a little bit, then slide it down on that slider right there. And then slide, you're gonna eventually slide it up and you can kind of see it'll eventually tab in over here like this. See that tab? That tab will fit in there. That's how it goes over on the other side too, and I'll I'll get that together. There we go. Basically like that, but we can just fold that down because then this is gonna fold up all the way. Where you can get this situated into the side here. And that's how you know where you need it to be. Might need to adjust this. And I'll show it. Let me just get it done and then I'll show it afterwards. There we go, get the, get it together. Then you just move these down in here. They just go in like that. Make sure this is up as far as possible where you need it to be like that. You can move this stuff down and you can, you might as well just have the, all these legs together because you're almost home free with that. And there's a series of up and down tabs and there's tabs in the inner leg. So this tabs very well. And there's tabs, two tabs back here that will come into play. Make sure there's nothing. You can see it better. The other tabs here, I, I try to get these lined up, pushed together and then these go in. And there we go. Now you can push these in here. I think I showed that earlier, probably too early. Move this down, flip this in and kind of get that in there. My gripe with the bolt is there's a lot of spaces on the side with this one. Doesn't mend together as great as the other one, but it still, it still looks good. And you want to move this stuff, you pull this out and you can accordion this down a lot of stuff is intuitive again it looks harder than i mean it's frustrating because it's so many panels and stuff you got to remember but you can see the pattern that's the one good thing like the ship is a pattern so you can tell kind of what should go where the legs together and everything flip this over tabs in over here wait I think I did this wrong. My bad. When you move this around and, and it, you should be able to do it now. You can just move them both down and flip them around. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, I might have to, oh man, sorry about that. Just know these move around on this ball joint I think it's a ball joint and you can actually take them off if you want I'm going to take them off and put them back on because they go in like this because it has to be flat I don't know what I was thinking wasn't thinking 
take it off this ball joint, move it around, put it back on. Listen, I wasn't taking these legs apart. I'm sorry. Now you're good. Now you can flip this around and it uh, make a flat surface like an aircraft car should be. This right here, you want to flip this up, but you don't want to close it yet. If you can see that, there we go. Flip this up. Well, this one actually has a foot on it, so I got to get it unpegged and flip it up. It's going to eventually close, as you can see. However, you got to get this foot together. So what I can understand, I didn't realize this part slides up and slides up as far as it does. So you put this red part up. This is eventually going to just move on this joint right here to this part, though, was what I was getting at. You move this up and let me show it on this one. This is what's going to happen with the foot. It's kind of cool that I can show it like this. It's going to move up on this joint like that. And then this is going to slide all the way up. Make sure it's flush. It, well, you can't really see it, but it's got to be flush. And then back here, like I said, you want to accordion in. Well, it goes up like that. And you got to try to get this peg underneath this thing. So move it all the way like that, but don't tab it in yet. And then this peg should fit. It's hard. It's funny because it's harder here than it is over here. So I'm going to do this one. You want to accordion this in so it's all the way down like that and then move this all the way up you can see flip this around that goes there so move then, this foot just to tell you're cording it back so then it'll fit in the space and you should have enough room to bend this up and have it fit up here just like this And also, it'll be straight once you tab. There's two tabs here on the side. And you can try to get that in. You can worry about this heel because it'll come off. The heel will come, come out. Um, there we go. Tab that down. This should be able to tab in if it didn't move out the way. So now you can move this back here like this. And up in there gives you that perfect i think i got it better this time than i did the first time i transformed this seems to be the case sometimes when you're on camera versus off and then move this down now i guess you can fix this stuff move this up here this is going like that and then you got to slide this down all the way and then it'll fit in here make sure when you're putting this down this is up here because it's gonna i mean you can kind of tell but at the same time you can't Then there's a peg here, peg here, peg back here. Let's get this right first. Just before I get a kind of accordion. There's a peg and there's a peg hole that it fits in. Just make sure the holes back here are up. And then all of this pegs in really well, but it takes some doing. This right here's like the toughest one that really keeps it in up here too like this this stuff so it just takes some doing back here there's a couple peg holes make sure you got that right and it covers up the space i understand why they did that they keep the tabs in like they have little things underneath to 
kind of about as good as I'm gonna get it. Might as well close this now, like move this around and easy to see how to do it. Just move this over, it's over under. I'm gonna move like this and up once you get all this situated. So just move that down because now we're gonna get these arms together. And this was the toughest part for me. I told you that before. But you can see how it's gonna be like this. The red is gonna be at the bottom. So that's what you wanna do. And then when you're moving this up, you want this to be up here. And this is why it's so hard because you're moving around all this stuff. And basically you're, you can push this down too. Cause then you can get a little working, working space. You gotta move that around and keep all this, try to keep your orientation. Cause this is gonna go all the way up like this. And what happens is this is where the combined head and the right and this head goes in here. So it creates the combined heads usually on this thing. So it creates enough space in between here, which I really don't, I, I, I appreciate them trying to keep the head on. So it's not like total parts forming, but I didn't need it. Plus there's a big hole because of the, all the antennas and stuff, but let's just work on this. We want to kind of close these, these just move around. So it keeps it, keeps it together. You can move that up. And now you got all of this, you got it like this. And this is where you try to move this around like that and you can move this out on that joint and then it'll come in I think it has to move yeah and you see how that moved I'm not sure if you can see that but you see how it moves like it's on like a double hinge almost and it hinges it's a weird it's a weird thing to try to do make sure this is up to I do forget that at times And you're like pushing it down. You can see it and rolling around. And then you can, then you got enough room to put this in here. Hell, you just got to try to get it in there like that. Move this up here. Get this out the way. So, so much, so much going on. So much, so cumbersome. Here we go. Getting there. <laughs> and the pattern. You see the pattern on there? It's just gotta be straight. And that's the part that's, I think that's the hardest part in the transformation. Cause then once it's straight, then you can move all this stuff together. And you see how that just went together like that? That's what it is. You can clean this up later after everything's done up, I should say. You can move this out like that. It doesn't hurt anything to do it now. And it's actually, this is where it needs to be, but this isn't. So let's get it situated. So once you get it up like that, move this up. This is going to be like this. And then you're trying to get this like that. See how it's moving around and that's why it's hard. At the same time, you're closing all this stuff and you're moving this that up.
and I'm going to close all this up here. Maybe that will be better. I close this stuff a little bit, have this up a little, close this. And this is pretty powerful, the course for these, all of these. Uh, I'm realizing if you open up this, you get more uh, leverage in here. So it's kind of better to do it that way. Yeah, that's, that was not easier, but easier. And then you can close this. So maybe that was in the instructions. I couldn't tell. It didn't seem to. Well, for one, there's a tab that goes into there. But I guess once you get it, you can move this out a little bit. Then get this in there and then put that tab in. And now for this, basically put this together here. Move this up and move this back. Move this up. Well, yeah, move it up. Move it back. Tab that together. These things I put on myself because it told you what to do. And here with this, you wanna move this around like that, kinda get it in here to rest under with the tab sticking up. And then there's a tab back here. Wait, right like this. So there's a tab back here that kinda is a slot tab, but then there's two tabs up here that it kind of goes that it, not kind of, but it goes into and you make that like this. It blocks. It, it gives it that, you know, it fills in that space, I should say. And just tab that in back here, tab it on, tab this on. This right here, then you just go through the cleanup. If stuff isn't exactly right, and can't believe I did two of these in a row <laughs> with uh, Primus, man. This is coming off. Move these up, and there's a tab there that tabs on it there. Kind of fills in that hole. Also gives it some, you know, some just rigidity can't tell you if i'm gonna show the reverse transformation in another video i gotta recover from this first so we'll see because this is whoo and that kind of just helps it along I don't know why this keeps coming out right here. Didn't think I was going to get that done. And like I said, you can see, let me get an up close shot. You can see the deck. There's all these little holes right there that you can see right now that the guns and all those little pieces go into. They're also like there. There was also an accessory pack. There's holes back here. For more stuff just put these things in to house different they got like radar and different things little guns have a gunner back here and they have a, a lot a lot of them so you can just fill this up and i think there's a separate accessory pack as i said that had two of these and came with a bunch of stuff like airplanes and, and other guns, I believe. Uh, don't quote me, but I think they've showed in like little missiles that look like they got fire and come out pretty cool as a display piece. I'm going to have this in combined mode anyway, so it, it doesn't really matter. But finally, we're done. Not much else to say. I can say there's a lot of gaps in this thing. A lot of splits. This is an aircraft carrier. It's an aircraft carrier. I mean, I've never been on a, a real aircraft carrier, so I don't really know. But I don't think there's all these uh, lines 
And there may be, but they they have not the painted lines. I mean, the painted lines are the strip and everything and all that. I'm sure all that is on there, but I mean all the panel lines. Like there's just there's a lot. So it, it it's a big a big 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 boy. So let me compare it to a robot. So there's a robot and there's the ship. Ship is long, long and big. So if you made it this far, if you watched the whole thing, I commend you. If you did not, I understand you. However, I thank you for clicking on this video. And I will get up with y'all in another one. Peace. You know, life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no. As long as you alive, you can give another try and take it real high if you want.